Oberon, congratulations on the win. How are you feeling? Thanks. It feels good. I mean, you wanted to start good, and our aim was really to come out here and start good and try and get the first win under our belt. And, you know, I'm pretty pleased with that. You've got a young team out there this year. How did you think they gelled together on the team tonight? Oh, it was beautiful. I thought they got the support from the senior players and they were pretty fa pretty much fearless out there. Um, they did what they were supposed to do and pretty pleased. Our little young shooter, Christina, came in and really gave us the punch shot when we needed them. So, I mean, I couldn't ask for more. Great. And what were your words to the girls prior to the match? Well, it's about us starting aggressive. We thought we needed to really make a statement there and really, really start aggressive. And, and they had that in their mind. Um, our defence really, really came out and was really aggressive. And It was a bit of a slow start in the first quarter. If there's any improvements you could take from that game, what would they be? Oh, definitely to get the ball more down the court. You know, a lot of time we stopped turning it back when we didn't have to. And the movement through mid-court was a bit slow. So, hopefully we can push the ball down there and, you know, and especially in our transition game. It's always there. There's always room for improvement there. Oh, and the shooting, definitely there's room for more improvement. So we kind of slowed down in the third quarter with the shooting and, you know, we picked it up in the last quarter. So we want to be able to do it right throughout the game. Great. you got the fast net ferns next. What do you need to do to win? Well, we got to defend like crazy. <laughs> we got to, you know, contain them and ensure that we, we convert our goals and, you know, stop that quick transition game that they use down the court. And just one last quick question. How are you enjoying Auckland so far? Oh, it's always nice here. I'm always, I've always loved New Zealand and here in Auckland is always pretty, except for the rain now, but it's okay. And the hotel is good. From out a tough game out there today, congratulations on the win. How did it feel out on court? Uh, thank you. Um, it's, <laughs> to be honest, it was a bit of an eye-opener because we, most of us girls haven't played um, Fast Five before, but it was definitely, it was good to get out there and get the first game out of the way, but it was good fun just getting out there and actually winning. You're a baby yourself, but you're one of the older members of the team this year. What's it like being the older mentor? I wouldn't say older. We've got someone there that is a lot older than I, um, I am, but you know, it's funny because all the girls like look up to me and they just expect a lot from me and I'm just trying to give them as much as I can. But yeah, it's good to, you know, for someone to be actually looking up to me. Um, tough match coming up coming up against South Africa first off. Did they do anything unexpected out there? Uh, most definitely. Like they're shooting the long way in shot um, and um, they're defending really well and they attacked down the court really well and we just had to find a way to um, defend it all the way and we did just that fine. Got the fast net ferns up next. What do you need to do out there to win? Uh, shoot and defend as much as we can. Um, you know, they're, they're a fast paced team and we just have to do what we have to do, control what we can control and I hope it goes in our favour. Great, and just one last question. Do you have any words for the supporters back home? Um, guys, just continue to support us. We're, we're going to do as best as we can and hopefully we could come home with a victory. Thank you very much. Commiserations on the loss. How do you think the girls handled the pressure out there? Um, I didn't think, I thought we were indisciplined in our game. Um, we didn't stick to what we had worked out and what we had planned. And we played indiscipline at times. But um, I think they, 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 they try, they, they give it their, they really work hard, try to get it done. It's just that we just deviate from the plan, from the game plan. What was the game plan out there? <laughs> nice one, huh? Uh, <laughs> we want to make sure that we score, especially in our power play, and contain the defense, the the shooting duo of the New Zealand. And we didn't do that well. Um, we had a lot of penalties given, and so they were able to make the shots. And is that the style of play that you expected from the Ferns? Yeah, I didn't expect anything, as I knew the game was fast through court and we weren't able to contain that part either. But um, we just have to go back and get back to being disciplined in whatever we do, whether it's defensively or in the attack, how we shoot our ball when there's a penalty. And just lastly, um, how are you experiencing, how are you liking the experience of the first five tournaments so far? It's not bad, we'd have loved to have a win just now, but that didn't happen, but we're ready, we just have to look forward to taking on Malawi.
Melissa, hard luck on the loss. Tough game tonight. How are you feeling? Um, I'm feeling very good about my team. They're a pretty young team and I guess we go up against a very experienced team and that's where we lost it. Um, we didn't make much use of our power play and I know that we'll get it next time around. Great. And um, what are the key learnings that you can take from a team like the Ferns? Um, definitely strong. They are very, very strong and our team is smaller comparing to them and I guess we have to use our athleticism against them in the next time around, if we meet them. You've got a very young team this year. You've got five players who are involved in the World Youth Netball Champs. What did you make of their performance out there? I mean, they did well. It's their first time up against New Zealand. Um, stronger team and I guess it's a big step from under 21 coming up and this is an experience for them and I think they did very well tonight. Malawi up next. They're a very aerial team just like yourselves. What do you need to do to take a win? I mean, we played them in practice match. It was very close. Um, coming out here tonight, playing them again. This is the real deal. We have to put it all out or nothing. So coming, to, coming, coming up against them, we definitely have to do our best. And just lastly, what do you make of the crowd out there tonight? It was pretty intense. I mean, we were playing against the home crowd. We have a few in the crowd. We could see our flags here and there. Um, we could just feed off their energy as well. What a thrilling finale. What was it like out there for the girls tonight? It was, it was good. You know, it was extremely hard, just the same. But we went out there and we fought hard. And what was going through your mind when you nailed that two-pointer just at the end there? Um, honestly, I knew we had to win, so it was, it was nothing but net for me. You'd just come off a loss to the Fastnet Ferns. What did the coaches have to say to you before you took the court? Um, basically, just take that loss off our mind. You know, do not dwell on it because we have another game that we have to win. So basically, that's what she said and that's what we went out there and do. Great. Now, you went up against Malawi. They're quite fast and dynamic, but they're also very unpredictable. Was it a bit harder than what you expected? No, because we're not underestimating any team at all and we know that Malawi, they can shoot well, they're very fast as you just said, so we just expected anything from them, so we just had to step up to the blade. Both Malawi and Jamaica are very similar, they have very similar styles of play, both are very aerial and dynamic. What did you need to do to shut them down? Um, what we need to do is just to play hard and just to take care of our balls, you know, and just to make the ball work for us and use our space. A few niggly an uh, ankle injuries. Can you give us an update on both Ramalda and Shamira's ankle injuries? Um, thankfully, they're both doing well. You know, it's nothing that we're going to have to worry about. It's just a little sprained ankle, you know, and they're okay. And just any improvements that you need to make for tomorrow? Definitely, a lot of improvements because we know the other two teams are going to come out real hard for us. So we just need to go back to the drawing board and see what we did not do today to win the second game and what we did not do to make a bigger win on both the two games that we won. What a thrilling way to finish the last game of the day. Congratulations on the win. How did it feel out on court tonight? Um, thank you. I mean, um, it was very challenging because it's um, the third game for the night. But luckily we pulled through. I mean, the Malawi girls, they're very good. I mean, the shooters, are, they were shooting really good in terms of the um, two points and the three points. Um, we tried our best and we ended up victorious. So thank God. What's it like being the only mid-court out there? You don't have a wing attack or a wing defence to support you, so it must be pretty tiring. Can you tell us what it's like? Oh my God, it's very challenging um, without a wing attack. I mean, we have the entire court to work, so we're working from the back line straight down without a wing attack. It's a lot of work. Three games down, two tomorrow. Are there any improvements to make before you face Australia? We definitely have to make some improvements in order to go up against Australia and England. But I think I will keep that to myself. Um, and what do you think of the crowd out there tonight? The crowd is excellent. I mean, they're cheering for us and that helps to push us. And just any words for the supporters back home? Okay. Okay, guys back home, um, we're, um, we're going to try and make you guys proud. So you just continue to cheer for us.